We're riding on the rails with a high-speed locomotion. First, the engineer pulls out slow, and away we go, picking up speed. Can you feel that rock in motion? Half seasons of fields on the big steel wheels. The engineer pulls out slow, and away we go. Now we're chugging up the coast. Feel the breeze coming off of the ocean. Chugging through the sky on a bridge so high. Half cities and fields on the big steel wheels. And the engineer pulls out slow. And away we go. The conductor calls out, all aboard. The train goes on the loose. The boxcars lounge calls down as a coach. And don't you forget the big old caboose. We're riding on the rails. On that big old locomotion. Tunneling down through the underground. Chugging through the sky on a bridge so high. Half cities and fields on the big steel it pulls out slow, away we go. Well, the engineers got the throttle in hand, 5,000 horses strong. When the green eye winks, we'll ride for sack. This hog's gonna move along. We're riding on the rails, on that big old locomotion. Tunneling down to the underground, chugging through the sky on the bridge so high. That cities and fields on the big steel wheels, and the engine it pulls out slow. early today because that gives us more time to play. I love this place. You can always find something new here. Yeah. Yeah! Like this. It's beautiful. I've never seen a watch like it. What kind is it? Wow, it's a conductor's watch. It's a real railroad conductor's watch. More precisely, it's my real railroad conductor's watch. Oh, I've been looking all over for it. Thanks for finding it for me. You're welcome. My name is Terry, and this is my friend Kit. Who are you? Well, I could tell you, but I think it'd be a lot more fun if you guessed. Let's see, here's a hint. Um, I'm a stranger to no one and a friend to everyone. Oh. No? Okay. Um, I think we're going to need another hint. Watch this. I know, I know. You're hard at Harry. He's hard at Harry, the magical genie. Yeah. But what are you doing here? Well, I'm doing the same thing you guys are doing. I'm learning all I can about trains, because I love trains. I mean, take these two steam locomotives. This one, the Southern Pacific Gold 3025, was built back in 1904. And this one, the Lucky Engine 1000, was built in 1920. Now, they were both powerful engines, but they were built for different reasons. This one was built for passenger trains. And that one was built for freight trains. How can you tell? Well, because I was there. I rode these trains. Well, don't look so shocked. You forget, I'm a genie. And back when these trains were riding the rails, so was I. Well, I'll prove it to you. Can you tell me what the difference is between these two trains? That's easy. Look at the size of these wheels. They're huge. That's right, Kit. But do you know why these wheels are bigger than the wheels on this train? Because the engine is bigger? Oh, uh, good answer, Kit, but that's not quite right. The reason why the wheels on this engine are bigger than the wheels on that engine is for speed. Here, look at this long steel rod. That's called a driving rod. Now, every time it's pushed forward, it causes the wheels on the train to turn, which makes the train go. Now, the bigger the wheels, the farther the train can go on each turn. And therefore, the bigger the wheels, the faster the train can go. Here, watch this. We're riding on the rails, on a steam-driven locomotion. Now the fireman stokes the coal. I see the drive rod pushing those wheels. Picking up speed. Can you feel that rock in motion? Look now at the, the steam that's coming out of that smokestack. And the fireman stokes the coal, and away we go. Chugging up the coast. Feel the breeze coming off of the ocean. Now the steam makes the pistons go, and the fire makes the hot steam flow. And the fireman strokes the coal, and away we go. Look at all that the smoke. The calls out all the board. The train goes on the loose. The boxcars lounge cars down as a coach. And don't you forget that big old caboose. 
We're riding on the rails On that steam-driven locomotion Now the driver had to push the wheels round slow Steam pushing up makes the pistons go The fire heats the water makes the hot steam flow The fireman stokes the cold And away we go Watch the steam wheels flow On the locomotion Hey, watch the steam On the locomotion sorts of stuff, uh, but more of that later. Come on, follow me. Now, freight trains have smaller wheels, but they have more of them, which means better traction for more pulling power. Now, this engine over here could pull 12 passenger cars at speeds of 100 miles per hour. And while this locomotive could only travel at about 35 miles per hour, it could pull a hundred loaded freight cars. Now that's pulling power. Wow, but what makes these locomotives go? Good question, Kit, and that can be answered in one word, steam. These are steam locomotives and they're powered by steam. Do you guys want to see how? Can we, really can we? No problemo. Oh, but first there's something you need to know about trains. Question. What are the three most important words in railroading? All aboard, please. Uh, good try, kid, but that's not quite right. The three most important words in railroading are safety, safety, and safety. And there's no better place to learn about railroad safety than here, the Traveltown Railroad Museum. Oh, but first, I think you guys need to be wearing something different, don't you? What do you mean? Well, these outfits are great for soccer practice, but uh, they're not so good for railroading. Okay, Terry, uh, let's see. You first. Too cool. Now me, Harry, now me. All right, no problem. Oops. Oh. Some genie. I'm sorry, kid. I've been having problems with this thumb ever since I got it stuck on a polar bear's nose in Alaska. And... Oh, well, that's another story. Let's do it for later and do something about this now, please. Uh, no problem. Okay. That's better. Oh, sorry, Kit. You know, I have to remember not to use my right thumb until I figure out what the problem is. Well, anyway, back to our safety lesson. Uh, 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 let's walk. <laughs> Hey, do you guys know what this is? Sure, it's a railroad crossing signal. It warns you when a train is coming. That's right. Whenever you're walking or in a car alongside a railroad, whenever you see this happen, always, always, always... Stop, look both ways, then wait for the train to pass safely. That's right, Terry. And never, never, never... Walk or drive across the tracks while the signal's on, even if you can't see the train coming. That's right, Kit. But it's also a good idea to look both ways when approaching a crossing, even when the signal isn't flashing. Now, what are the three most important words in railroading? Safety, safety, safety. All right. Now you guys are ready to learn all you can about steam locomotives. Harry, no! <laughs> Come on, guys, and I'll show you how this thing works. Ugh. Watch your step. This is called the cab. This is where the engineer and the fireman worked. The engineer sat to the right, and the fireman sat to the left. This lever determines the direction the train will travel. This is the throttle. It determines how fast the train will go. Can't you just feel it? Now, this is a firebox, and the firemen used to work up here. Do you know why the engineer's partner was called the fireman? Because he puts out fires. <laughs> Just the opposite, Terry. His job was to start a fire in here and keep it going the whole time. And he did that by throwing in wood or coal. This is called a firebox. It was the fireman's job to keep the locomotive's fire hot. Once the fire was hot enough, it heated water, carried in tubing in and around the boiler, and turned it into steam. 
the steam was forced into the cylinder, which pushed the piston inside, and that pushed the driving rod, and that's what turned the wheels. Get it? Got it. Good. Watch this. That's really cool, Harry, but you know what would be even cooler? What? If we could take a ride on a real train. Oh, good idea. Hey, I think I hear one coming now. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> it's just the figure of speech, guys. No offense, Harry, but this isn't exactly what I meant. I meant a real train. This is a real train. It's a children's train. You know, trains come in all shapes and sizes and types. Well, here, I'll show you. There are slow trains, and there are fast trains. There are short trains, and there are long, long, long trains. There are trains with a locomotive in front, and trains with locomotives in the back. There are old trains, and there are modern trains. For instance, high-speed trains, some known as bullet trains, travel hundreds of miles an hour over specially designed tracks. There are subway trains that carry people underground, and commuter trains like this Metrolink that move people in, out, and around cities above the ground. Railroad cars like these are specially designed to carry people both upstairs and downstairs. That way, they can safely transport between 150 and 300 people in each car. Wow! How did you do that? I keep telling you, he's a genie. Harry, this is fun, but can we ride on a real train? Oh, no problem. We'll just wait for a green eye, and then we'll lead this hog and wrap the sack to the hot shot. Are you feeling all right, Harry? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling great. Oh, that's just railroad lingo. Wait for a green eye means wait for a clear track. Lead this hog means get off this locomotive, and wrap the sack means go as fast as you can to the hot shot or the fast car. Get it? Got it. Good. Then hold on. Ah. Oh. Cool! Here we are, guys, in Union Station in downtown Los Angeles, the train passenger center for all of Southern California. And over there is Alvera Street, where Los Angeles began back in... Hey, look what time it is. It's time to catch Amtrak's Co's Starlight Superliner. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, there's our train. Ooh. Come on, guys, we gotta hurry and get our tickets. Can I help you? Well, laugh at locomotives. Yeah, we need uh, three tickets to Santa Barbara. Quickly. Have a great trip. Thanks. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. I think the trains are this way. Oh, I can't wait till you guys see the train. It's so cool. Hey, wait a minute. Why walk? Uh, hey, guys, let's get on. Come on. All right. We've got a green light, so let's wrap the sack to the next hog. Now you're talking my language. Let's highball. Thanks for the ride, Norm. Thank you for the ride, sir. You're welcome, and have a nice trip. You too, Norm. <sighs> there she is, guys, the Amtrak Superliner. Let's go. This is a diesel electric Amtrak locomotive. Each one of these engines generates over 5,000 horsepower apiece. 
As you can see, two of these giant engines are needed to pull this train through the city, over the mountains and down the valleys. Just like the steam locomotives of yesteryear, the engineer sits on the right at these controls. One lever determines whether the train goes forwards or backwards. One sets and releases the brakes, and the third one is the throttle, which determines how fast the train will go. Long distance trains, such as the Coast Starlight, have several different types of train cars, each with its own purpose, such as baggage cars, passenger coach cars, lounge and observation cars, the all-important dining car, and my favorite, the sleeping car. Let's go, guys. Come on. Hey, this is a coach car, and there are usually several of them on each train like one behind us and one up there. Oh, and the seats are really comfortable. They're adjustable. Wow. And there's plenty of leg room. Is this where we'll be riding? Oh, ah, uh, um, let's see, what do I have here? No, I've got something really special planned for us, but there's much more to see. Follow me. Okay, let's go, guys. Uh-oh. Um, watch this. <gasps> wow! Yeah, okay, now be careful walking between the cars. Let's go. Go ahead. Harry, why does the doors open like that? Oh, for safety and for sound. The doors are designed to keep the noise out and the quiet in. Now, in order to do that, they have to be really heavy. So when passengers like you and I want to get through, all we have to do is push a button. <laughs> cool, huh? Too cool! As cool as this? This is awesome! What are they doing over there, Harry? Oh, that's a maintenance yard for trains. Now, just as boats and planes and cars need to be worked on in order to keep running, so do trains. And that's where they do it. There's Amtrak's newest locomotive. Oh, isn't she a beauty? Do you see that? That's called a turntable. The idea is simple. It is easier to change the direction of the track than it is to try to turn around a 180-ton locomotive. By using the turntable, the engineer can choose which track he wants and in which direction he wants to go. Over there is where the actual repair work is done by skilled mechanics. Bet you've never seen a car wash that big. But even locomotives have to be washed, and that's how they wash them. What kind of railroad car is this, Harry? Well, this is known as an observation car or a snack car. Snacks? Somebody mentioned snacks? Yeah, that's right, Kit. Right below us. And that's where people can go and get all kinds of snacks, like choo-choo chewies. Mmm. But that's not what I like about this car. What I like is the view. And there's something else neat in here, too. See this? Neat television. Oops, wrong TV show. You see, when it gets dark outside, passengers can come in here and watch a movie. So not only is it an observation car and a snack car, it's a theater on rails. Snacks? Movies? What more do you want? That's right. You've got everything you need on a train, 
plus a great view. What's happening? Look at the light! Oh, you guys, it's okay. We're going through a tunnel. When a train can't go up, down, or around a mountain, it's got to go through it. And that's what we're doing right now, going through a mountain in a tunnel. You can't see anything out here. That was totally cool. Come on, guys. There's so much more to see. This is my favorite car, the dining car. Are you guys hungry? Do trains run on tracks? Do birds have feathers? What? Else to say. Oh, okay, I'll take those as yes answers. Let's eat. Mm. Mm. That looks good. Ooh. Amy, hi. Do you have any recommendations? All the food on Amtrak is delicious. Mm. Well, what do you guys want? I want two choo choo choo. And I'll have the two choo choo choo's too. Um, let's see. Two choo choo choo's. Chicken ice cream. No, no. Chicken um, um, I'll, uh, the pettuccine. Okay. Harry, this is very nice, but where do they make the food? Right down there. This car has a fully equipped kitchen, complete with an award-winning chef and his assistants. The food is prepared just like your neighborhood restaurant. The only difference is, when the food is ready, the chef sends it up to our waiter in an elevator. Oh, Amy, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Choo choo chewies look pretty good, kids. Amy was right. This is delicious. All right. Look at all those freight cars. That's called a freight yard, and it is where freight cars from all over the country come together and are reassembled to form new trains with new destinations. How do they know which cars go where? Great question, Terry. They do it through a process called humping. When a freight car is scheduled to leave the yard, it is moved to an area called the hump. As it is pushed over the hump, the car is cut loose and allowed to roll free. A switchman then reads a marking on the car and determines which train it needs to be attached to. He does that by switching the tracks to change the direction of the rolling car. The freight car then rolls freely to its intended train, but not before passing through a set of brakes, which slows the car down to a safe speed. How did he actually attach the cars to make a train? Trains are linked together in two ways. First is by a steel coupler, which attaches itself to the next car in line. And second, by a set of air hoses, which are used to operate the brakes of each individual train car. As soon as the new train is assembled, it sets off on its journey. I've only seen trains like that in my train set. I wonder how many cars that engine is pulling. Look, that train is being pulled by one, two, three, four, five, six engines. That train is so long. To this. Oh God, you guys, uh, time's running short. We gotta get out of here. Let me take care of this check for me. Um... Harry, no! Oops! Uh... <sighs> Let's go, guys. This is so... Hey, guys, wait for me. Oh, cool. You know where we are now. Hey, go inside that one. Okay. Wow, it's cool. Oh, 
Hello, and welcome aboard. I'm Jeffrey, the sleeping car attendant. How may I help you today? Well, can you tell my friends what a sleeping car is? Sure. Sleeping car is where people sleep and have their privacy, and they room, and they eat, and they do everything right here. It's all self-contained. Wow. This place is like a hotel on rail. A hotel, snack shop, restaurant, and movie theater on rail. <laughs> That's right. It sure is. Why don't you let me show you? OK. OK. Right, and there you have it. You have room for about three people to sleep, all cozy and quiet. Well, thanks, Jeffrey. We know you're busy and you have a lot of work to do, so see you later. Thanks, thanks Jeffrey. Thanks, Jeffrey. Hi, my name is Wes. I'm the train's conductor. How can I help you today? Well, Mr. Conductor, these are my friends, Terry and Kit. Hi, Terry. Hi, Kit. This is Hi. their first time on your train. Oh. Can you tell them a little bit about your job and about this train? Sure. Well, the conductor has a real important job. The conductor is responsible for the safety and the operation of its train, its crew, and its passengers. I have to make sure that the engineer does his job. He's the man that drives the train. I also take the tickets. Make sure people get on and off where they're supposed to go. And I yell all aboard when the train gets ready to leave. And I have about 108 people on this train right now. And it's capable of holding about 500. So, Mr. Conductor, how fast are we going? Right now, we're going 79 miles an hour. 79 miles per hour. We can go up to 90, but not till after we get past Santa Ana. Well, I'll see you guys later. I have to go now, but you come back and ride with me again sometime, OK? Oh, well, we will. OK, okay bye. Bye. Boy, what a day. Wait until we tell our team about this. You know, I think it's getting late. It is. It's time to get you guys home. We had a great time, Harry. And we learned a lot as well. Thank you for allowing us to come along on your train adventure. You're welcome. Now it's time to get you home, so hang on to your hats. <gasps> <laughs> it's just a figure of speech, guys. Uh... Is that cool or what? Yeah. Oh, but I almost forgot. Hey, it worked. Cool, huh? So you guys, that was a lot of fun. Now remember, trains help build our country, and they continue to do so today. Every hour of the day, every day of the week, every month of the year, trains are carrying passengers and freight to all parts of the country. But whenever you see trains, you should also remember what are the three most important words in railroading? Safety, safety, safety. That's right. Hey, I think I hear my train. And there it is. I got to go, guys. Happy railroading. Too cool. Come on, let's go. We're riding on the rails with a high-speed locomotion. First, the engineer pulls out slow. Away we go, picking up speed. Can you feel that rocking motion? Half seems and feels on the big steel wheels. The engineer pulls out slow, and we we go. Now we're chugging up the coast. Feel the breeze coming off of the ocean. Chugging through the sky on a bridge so high. Half seems and feels on the big steel wheels. The engineer pulls out slow, and we we go. The conductor calls out, all aboard. The train goes on the loose. The box cars lounge calls down as a go. Don't you forget the big old caboose We're riding on the rails On that big old locomotion Chugging through the sky on a bridge so high So the engine it pulls out slow Away we go Well the engineer's got the throttle in hand Five thousand horses strong When the green eye winks we'll wrap the sack This hog's gonna move along We're riding on the rails On a steam-driven locomotion Now the fireman stokes the coal And away we go We're picking up speed Can you feel that rocking motion? Now the fire makes the hot steam flow And the fireman stokes the coal And away we go Chugging up the coast 
Feel the breeze coming off of the ocean. Now the steam makes the pistons go. And the fire makes the hot steam flow. And the fireman strokes the coal. And away we go. The conductor calls out all the board. The train goes on the loose. The boxcars lounge cars down as the coach. And don't you forget that big old caboose. We're riding on the rails. On that steam driven locomotion. Now the drive right push the wheels round slow. Steam pushing up makes the pistons go. The fire heats the water makes the hot steam flow. The fireman stokes the coal and away we go. On the locomotion. 